conference with head coach Kyra Elsey. Uh, raise your hand if you have a question. John Wong. Hi, Kyra. You've stressed transition defense throughout the year. And I was wondering, uh, do you think you all are improving? And what specifically should we be looking at to show that you are improving? Yes, uh, transition defense is a non-negotiable for this team. It is a point of emphasis. Um, you know, it failed us against South Carolina. So we had to go back to work today. And um, when you'll see that we're progressing, we'll get the ball stopped. Um, not hassling the rebounder, sprinting back. Uh, getting a get back person and uh, matching up and protecting the paint at the end of the day. We can't give up layups on the other end. Larry Vaughn. Good afternoon, Kyra. Hello. Just, just tell me, what's been the secret to getting your players to seem to all buy in so easily to their roles and what you want them to do? It looks like it. Maybe it's not been that easy from the outside looking in. It looks like you've really done a good job of that. Uh, well, thank you. Uh, credit to the players. Um, they have great team chemistry. Um, they came into this season season wanting to win, and we knew that we had the talent, and we stressed from the very beginning. Uh, one basketball, five positions, uh, 40 minutes, and a lot of talent. Um, but if we want to win, we have to be selfless, uh, ego-free, uh, buy into the three P's, peers, parents, press, no outside distractions. And when we do that, we will reach the goals that we're trying to achieve. Uh, just curious, the decision you had to make before the season started to set Ryan out a couple games, do you think that did anything to help send a message about team unity, buying to your role, that's how we're going to do it or else? Uh, well, sitting Ryan out had nothing to do with uh, team chemistry, which I've already addressed that. Um, but I do um, know that the players understand that there's an expectation um, and standard and which we'll hold um, ourselves to. And they buy into it because that's what Kentucky uh, women's basketball is about. John Wong. Kyra, along the same lines of that, I mean, when you think about this team and what they've had to go through, it's not every day that you get a new head coach coming on board. How surprised are you that that transition, that unity, that chemistry has, has gone so well? And, and what do you attribute that to? Well, I think everyone here is invested in Kentucky. They love Kentucky women's basketball. And as far as the transition, it was tough. You know, we, we lost Coach Mitchell, who um, has been the face of this program for a long time, the winningest um, head coach in uh, history for basketball here um, on the women's side. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, but I, I think me being their assistant coach first has really helped in the transition. I had the opportunity to recruit them to Kentucky, build relationships with them along with this staff. Um, so I think they have an understanding of uh, where we stand, our vision. Um, so I think at the end of the day, the relationships has really played a vital role. As I look at your shirt, I see that word grind as a former dentist. That's kind of a cuss word in my <laughs> mind. What, what does that actually mean to uh, you from a basketball standpoint? Grind. Coach Butt says it all the time in practice. It takes what it takes. No one is going to give us anything. We have to earn it. We have to be willing to sacrifice, roll up our sleeves, uh, go to work. We are a blue collar team. Um, nothing comes easy. We are going to achieve success because we've grinded it out. We have worked for it. We have paid the price. So we grind in Kentucky women's basketball daily. Larry Vaught. Kyra, what is it about this team that you think that fans have embraced so much and, and seem to enjoy watching your team play so much? Well, I think we play hard. Um, we play an exciting brand of basketball. We are up-tempo. 
We play hard defensively, even though we make some mistakes. Uh, we still play hard. Um, and then they have plenty of personality. We, we lack uh, uh, no, um, we lack no, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, personality, I should say, um, with Kiki McKinney dancing and uh, Robin Benton. Uh, she gets the crowd into it because she's so enthusiastic. Um, so I just think the personality and then what the players do off the court, you know, they are really engaging um, to this community um, and they give back and they give of themselves. And I think people embrace that. I know you even had some special kids announce the starting lineup Sunday. Kind of how did that come about? How much did your players enjoy that? Our players loved it. That's what I love about this team. They really um, want to give of themselves and it's bigger than basketball. Um, and um, those young kids were so excited to meet our players and engage with them. And you know, we went into it, our players, you know, wanting to make them their day, make them happy. Um, but, you know, those those young um, kids really inspired our players and staff, the fight they have in them, the resilience. So it really gives you um, a greater perspective on life. Thank you. John Long. Treasurer Hunt was somebody who came in with very high expectations at the beginning of the year. We saw her a lot at the beginning of the season, but uh, now we, we haven't seen much of her. Can you kind of give us an update on her progress and what role do you think Treasurer will be playing for the rest of the year? Well, great question. Treasurer and I just had a great conversation today. Um, you know, Treasurer um, has great potential. She's a prolific scorer. She has great size. Um, right now she is a freshman and she's learning. Um, and we have been through the gauntlet, um, with our, our schedule. She's sitting behind some vets. So, um, treasure is going to make an impact on this program. She continues to progress in practice. Um, there'll be some games that we, uh, can get her in. Uh, but we have, we 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 will build our, our future around treasure. Very high hopes for uh, treasure hunt here. Okay. On kind of a different note, I know that Coach Mitchell was always fantastically dressed on the sidelines. Do you seem to have kept that tradition alive? Uh, do you have like a wardrobe uh, allowance in terms of your contract? But more seriously, how do you think that college basketball coaches should be dressed while they're on the sidelines? Coach Mitchell was uh, the best dressed on the sideline for sure. Um, and thank you. Um, no, I do not have allotment. Maybe I should have talked to Mr. Barnhart about that. I did not put that in my contract. I should have talked to you beforehand. Um, and as far as how people are dressed, you know, it's up, up to each individual. You To coach good, you want to feel good, um, you, you just wear what you're comfortable with. Thank you. Larry Vaughn. and they're talking about your fashion statements and all like that. So are you dressing different than before or is everybody just noticing what you're doing now? <laughs> I'm not dressing any different than I normally dressed. I guess they are noticing more because I'm standing up, um, but I'm thankful for everybody. Very, very nice. So you have heard some of that then? Yes, I've been getting tweets and text messages, so I guess people are noticing more because I'm standing up, but I'm, I'm not dressing any different. But uh, thank you for everybody watching. And um, while you're watching my outfit, I'm glad that you all are tuned in uh, to watch a very talented um, Cats basketball team. Last one to John Moore. Uh, Connor, I guess we should ask her about the upcoming game at Auburn. What can we expect? And uh, how's the team uh, going through the grind now of the SEC season? The, the grind of the SEC season, you said it best. Um, the best conference in the country. Um, and, you know, you have to take it one game at a time. And the most important game right now is Auburn because it's next on our schedule. Um, what we're looking for defensively, transition defense, getting the ball stopped, um, protecting the paint. 
Uh, we have honed in on that in practice and continuing to push the pace offensively. Um, and I really challenge the players to rebound the basketball. We have to go to the offensive glass, but we also have to uh, finish with a box out on our defense. And thank you and good luck. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Larry, hang on, okay?